Lil Wayne no not to be performing in New Orleans for the Super Bowl is egregious, and it gotta stop. Hot tea, hot tea, hot tea, oh. hot tea, hot tea. All right, so y'all know yesterday Kendrick Lamar announced that he was doing the halftime show at the Super Bowl next year, and that was met with a lot of backlash. We got Master P writing letters, okay? Lil Wayne fans talking about why isn't Wayne doing this since it's in New Orleans. And if y'all didn't see my video yesterday, I let out some top secret information about Lil Wayne and the Super Bowl. Y'all better go check it out. It was in the uh, Drake response to Kendrick's Super Bowl performance. Go check that out. But this morning, Cameron woke up and he was on one. OK, let's see what Killer Cam had to say about Kendrick doing the halftime show. Make sure y'all like the video. I'm $8 million in debt like Damon Dash, and I'm trying to come up. Let's see what Cam had to say. I, and listen, I love Kendrick Lamar. I love the pop-up. I think he's one of the top artists of this generation, period. Hate this election. It's in New Orleans. You don't get Lil Wayne? You That's what we doing? Yeah. Listen, yeah. you don't get Lil Wayne in New Orleans for the Hot Super Bowl? Not just Hot Boys, Cash Money, all the songs Lil Wayne's done, whether it's Blink-182, there's no reason why Lil Wayne should not be performing the Super Bowl. There's one person who's stopping this. I know, you know, it's not really, it's not really a secret. Lil Wayne had a problem with somebody before who's kind of part of the organization running it. This is payback. Who's that, who's Lil Wayne artist? Drake. Yeah, that's, not, this is this hating is, at this, this age is crazy. It's crazy, yeah. bro. It, bro, bro, it's ridiculous. Like hating Mike, at Mike, this Mike, this some hip hop shit that you probably don't know what's going on. To be totally honest with yeah. you, so we'll school you behind the scenes. Little Wayne, no, not to be performing in New Orleans for the Super Bowl, is egregious, and it gotta stop. I can do it, it gotta stop. Mike, we'll tell you what's going on later. It gotta stop, bro. It gotta stop, man. Yeah, and I'm it, doubling I down on that. Wayne. Hating at this age is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. I love Wayne. I'm it's wild, man, bro. Man. And I work and, for and, Wayne. I love him. Great dude. Great yeah, dude. And, no, Great and this dude, has nothing man. towards Kendrick. Kend if anybody deserved it, Kendrick would deserve yeah. it. But this is some right, backstory right, shit you. going on. Yeah. While Lil Wayne is not performing the Super Bowl. <laughs> Say his name, Cam. Say his name, Cam. Say his name. See, what? And see, academics said this a long time ago. And I love Cam. And I get it. You doing a show, and maybe you don't want no unnecessary smoke because who wants smoke with a billionaire? But I remember Ax said this a while ago. People treat Jay Z like he's the candy man, they don't ever want to say his name no more. I remember when Tory Lanez got locked up. And I heard so many people alluding to Jay-Z talking about, you know, it's Rock Nation who was involved. And I'm not here to talk about whether or not Tory went to jail because of Jay-Z. I'm just saying, I noticed at that time, nobody wanted to say his name. Only one person said Jay-Z's name, and that was Tory Lane's dad. Everybody else, they tiptoed around it. I remember when the Colin Kaepernick situation was going on. And everybody felt like Jay-Z sold out Colin Kaepernick. But everybody tiptoed around it. Nobody really wanted to speak on it. I remember when the title situation was going on, right? And people felt like Jay-Z hyped up title and then he sold it. Everybody tiptoed around it. A lot of people didn't say Jay-Z's name. It's only a few people that when some shit got to do with Jay-Z, they say his name. And I would say it's academics and Tory Lane's dad. The rest of these niggas be scared shitless to say his name. And I'm shocked at Cam. I'm like, Cam, why don't you say his name? But like I said at the beginning, I can still understand you not wanting no smoke with Jay-Z. I can also understand Cam not really wanting to come off as a hater because it's so much. Y'all got to understand, it's so much shit that happened in Rockefeller. Cam was around during those days. When I did a video the other day, some of y'all really just forgot that Joe Budden was a part of Rockefeller close to the end of it, okay? But it was so much beef going on between Jay-Z and the diplomats and just one particular side of Rockefeller versus this side of Rockefeller. So 
maybe Cam don't want to come off as if, you know, he's still hating about some shit that happened 20 years ago. But I, I don't understand why he couldn't just be honest and really get into it. Because I feel like Cam could have talked for about 20 minutes about Jay-Z and his involvement in a few different things um, in the industry. Now, I'm not even here to say Jay-Z is a bad guy. Maybe Jay-Z is just a crew businessman who has learned from a lot of other businessmen in the industry, right? See, here's the thing with Dame Dash and Jay-Z. Has Dame ever considered that Jay-Z only did things to you that he watched you do to other people? <laughs> like maybe Jay learned from Dame and then Dame got mad because Jay used those same tactics on him. And those are the same tactics that Jay is using today and that made him into a billionaire. I know I just went off on a whole rant, but I have to address this part, too, because I see some people saying that, you know, Little Wayne isn't as big as he was years ago. So why would they have Wayne over Kendrick? Kendrick is the culture. Usher is not the biggest artist in R&B today. Granted, Usher's still doing his thing. His last tour went viral every night. He was talking to everybody's girl. But Usher is still a legacy act. He headlined the Super Bowl last year. And we've seen the Super Bowl do that multiple times. Rihanna is Rihanna. And Beyonce is Beyonce. But these are still legacy acts that the Super Bowl is always inviting to do the halftime show. They not the uh, entity that's always trying to get the new and hot artists. They want people with a long discography so they can come up there and do about, what, 20 minutes of hits, right? Twenty Ain't, ain't the halftime show about 20, almost 25 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, that's what they want. They want somebody to come up there and do a long list of hits. And Lil Wayne fits that criteria. So I don't want to hear about he ain't new and hot. He could have did it. So let me know what y'all think about this. Like the video and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.